Hello, I'm Paula Carnell and I'm reading chapters from my book Artist Bees, which is the story of my journey from being an artist to a bee speaker. And we're now on chapter nine, which is how the bees got their sting. So here we go. There is an ancient Roman tale of how a honeybee took a jar of her colony's finest honey to the god Jupiter. Jupiter was delighted with the gift and whilst the bee watched, he carefully tasted the honey. Each mouthful was so delicious he couldn't help but take another and another until the jar was empty. Turning to the bee, he asked for more, to which the little bee said, hmm, I have a problem with that and it's partly why I came to talk to you. You see, everyone wants our honey. Birds, badgers, bears, wasps, humans, and we often don't have enough left to feed our babies. We work so hard all summer long to collect the nectar needed to make the honey to last us through the winter, and now we don't think we'll have enough. We were hoping you could help us. Naturally, Jupiter was concerned, but he also wanted more of the bee's honey, so he asked his wife Juno to assist with coming up with a solution. Being a wise woman, Juno had overheard the conversation and had been given it some thought. I think I know what we can do to help you, little bee. We shall give you a choice to share your honey to those that you wish to share with. And if you choose not to share, then you shall have a sting in your tail that you can deliver to the thieves. The only condition is that should you use that sting, you shall die. So you must think carefully about sharing or withholding your special harvest. This story confirmed to me that the bees will tell me if I am not to take their honey. Before I buy another beekeeper's honey, I always ask how often they get stung. So I'm Paula Carnell and that was chapter nine from my book, Artist to Bees.